Hi everyone, I'm Alex Lagadinos and I work in business development where we're looking to add complementary science to Sarepta's internal R&D engine. It's great to be here with you today for this installment of GTFAQ, which is designed to answer your questions on gene therapy science. Today's question, what efforts are underway to overcome antibodies? On a previous video, we discussed how pre-existing antibodies to a gene therapy vector could make one ineligible to receive that gene therapy. We've also previously discussed how the administration of a gene therapy can lead to the development of antibodies, which is one of the reasons why gene therapy is considered a one-time treatment. This is because the body recognizes the gene therapy vehicle, or the vector, as a foreign invader, and it mounts the natural defense mechanism, or antibodies. So back to the question, what efforts are underway to overcome antibodies? The short answer is that there are no approved therapeutics or interventions to overcome or prevent the formation of antibodies. However, this is a very active area of focus for researchers. One of the areas currently being explored is vector selection. By choosing vectors that are less common in the natural environment, humans would theoretically have less exposure and would therefore be less likely to develop antibodies. Scientists are also exploring how to design vectors that can hide from antibodies while still entering the target cells. This is sort of like giving the vector an invisibility cloak. The field is also exploring new ways to deliver genetic material including designing novel vectors and using the body's own cellular messengers, which are not recognized by antibodies. Other areas being evaluated include removing antibodies prior to gene therapy treatment or suppressing the body's immune system prior to gene therapy treatment so that it is less likely to recognize the vector once it's administered. So to recap, pre-existing antibodies to a gene therapy vector could make one ineligible to receive that gene therapy, while the development of antibodies post-treatment limits gene therapies to a one-time administration. Scientists are exploring many ways to overcome these challenges, but none of these techniques are approved or available today. However, research in this area is very active. If you have any questions about the ongoing research or anything related to antibodies and gene therapy, we encourage you to speak to your doctor. Thanks for watching. And if you have any questions about the content of GTFAQ or you have a topic you'd like to hear about, drop us a line in the comments and we'll try to address it in a subsequent video.